Hi, Glenn Phillips here with Lake Homes Realty and LakeHomes.com. Today I want to talk about why would you buy a lake home on a leased lot. Now if you've never bought at a lake before, it may surprise you that this is actually common on many lakes in the country. And if you think about it, these larger lakes were built by man, uh, by a government entity or a power company. And so to do this, to control the environment of that lake and have more uh, operating control of it, they lease the lot instead of selling it. Now these leases can be 20, 30, even 100 year leases. So when you buy the lot, uh, you buy the house, you transfer the lease, it's not a big deal. Now the other thing you want to think about is, you know, time of ownership. Uh, you know, many people go, why would I buy a lease lot that's got a clock on it? But most people are not going to own a lake home uh, for 100 years or even 20 or 30 years. Now, yes, there are generational, we built the house in, on, on land we own and we want to hand it down to the kids, but we've even find generationally now there's so many activities and the world's so movable, we relocate that even in these instances, people in a different home at the same lake, they want some change, that, that people owning the same lake home for 20 and 30 years is actually the exception, not the rule. Uh, and since the leases are renewable, you can kind of recalculate this, uh, this thought. You, know, you buy the house, you transfer the lease, it's still a block of time, and these are, you're not boxed in any, really any different way. It's just a different structure of this. But the advantage is, when you get this lease, is you may actually have better lots. Uh, if there are some that are sold, you may still have the premium lots that are better view, better access to the water. Uh, you just have the lease involved. Even if you bought land, you'd be under some operating agreement and rules enforced by the government or operating company. So, you, uh, you know, there's not a whole, uh, necessarily a big freedom of buying the land versus leasing it. And the last thing to keep in mind is you can still finance this home. Now, there may be big national lenders who don't understand why the house is on a leased lot, but there are plenty of, uh, of mortgage entities, particularly closer to the lake, those local folks, who this is a normal standard lease, not a big deal. They're not going to be confused by it. They can click right through about, uh, with the local closing folks about how you do the transaction. So you buy the house, you transfer the lease. It's just not that confusing. Bottom line here is if you're going to buy many lakes in this country and you want the better lots, it's very likely to be a leased lot and, and it's just not that big a deal. So don't let it be one. Find your dream home, whether it's on a, a land you buy or a lot you lease. Enjoy it. That's what it's for. Life short by the lake home. Hope this information has been helpful. Be sure to visit us at lakehomes.com where you have agents who understand leased lots that can help you through the process as well as tens of thousands of properties for sale right now, whether they're on their own land or leased, but you can find them right now online. Have, hope this information is helpful. Have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.